Is it nice to improve oneself or become superhuman? Elon Musk offers some ideas on how to do it. He thinks putting a chip in your mind will help you do this. This is no joke since Musk has tested chip brain implants on animals and is currently employing Neuralink technology to test on people. In today's video, we will discuss what Neuralink is, how will Musk insert the chip into the people's brain, and what will Musk accomplish with the Neuralink. Many have experienced times when we wish we had more brain capacity to take on challenging academic work, multitask to meet deadlines, or grasp certain ideas quickly. What if we could increase our brain's processing capability, much like we can increase memory on a computer? These are all intriguing scenarios that creative filmmakers have teased us with for years. In sci-fi movies, intellectual, energetic people are upgraded by expanding their brains and gaining greater strength. We could soon be living those films as a reality, though, owing to a brilliant businessman and millionaire inventor. Elon Musk is the guy, and he is, without a doubt, intelligent. Musk found a Neuralink to do what many would consider impossible. What precisely is a Neuralink? The business wants to create implantable chips that will enable direct brain-to-computer communication. Before discussing how Musk integrates it into the human brain, we shall investigate this. Neuralink is a gadget that was surgically inserted in the brain using robotics by neurosurgeons. In this procedure, a chipset called the Link is implanted in the skull. It has several insulated wires connected to the electrodes used in the process. This device can then operate smartphones and computers without touching them, giving it up to Musk to try what others shy away from. This is the same man who wants to settle people on Mars permanently. In contrast, others debate the morality or ethics of such an idea. Technologies like Neuralink have their critics, but seeing the benefits, Musk will only be stopped. Before looking at the benefits of Neuralink, how does it work? Musk said, The neurons are like wiring and you need an electric thing to solve an electronic problem. That is an oversimplified explanation, but we offer you what you need to know here. It is important to have some ideas about how the brain works. The brain consists of neurons that transmit signals to cells in the body, including muscles, nerve glands, and other neuron cells. Every neuron comprises three parts, the dendrite, the soma, or cell body, and the axon. The dendrite receives the signals, the soma processes the signals, and the axon then transmits the signals to the other cells. The neurons are connected to one another by the synapses, which releases neurotransmitters. These chemical substances are sent to other neuron cells and dendrites using current flow across the neurons. The electrodes part of the neural link will read electrical signals produced by several neurons in the brain. The signals are then output as an action or movement, such as how you walk or lift an arm. The neural link device is implanted directly in the brain because if placed on a skull, it will not accurately detect the signals produced in the brain. Accuracy is very important in applications like this. Musk says it charges wirelessly, so what does Neuralink do? The main function is to bridge the gap between the human brain and technology. This has many applications, including some that will benefit a special class of people. For example, people who have suffered paralysis and can't move their body parts can use Neuralink to directly operate their phones and computers with their brains. This will be useful for people who have suffered from diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. It can also help people with severe spinal injuries walk again. People who can't form speech can take advantage of Neuralink, which will read signals in their brains and send them to a smartphone, turning them into a human speech. That's not all Neuralink can do. It can also draw pictures, take photographs, control heavy machinery with the brain directly, play games without physically touching a controller, and so forth. The possibilities with Neuralink are endless, and more applications are expected to come with time. Musk started the company in 2016 and is the main source of funds. Neuralink has come a long way since then. It has been tested on at least 19 animals with a high success rate. Interestingly, the procedure to install the Neuralink device, which Musk calls getting the link, is not as complicated as some people would think. It doesn't require general anesthesia and will be done by a robot in about an hour. The only evidence of the surgery is a tiny scar after the electrodes have been inserted in the brain. There will be any blood. 
the link is about the size of a large coin you can easily conceal under your hair or a cap. Musk has demoed Neuralink using three pigs. He called the demo the three little pigs. Showing that his team has successfully implanted Neuralink in their brains, the pigs were named Joyce, Gertrude, and Dorothy. Joyce had no implant and was only brought along for the audience to see how a normal pig behaved. Gertrude had an implant for two months, while Dorothy used to have one but had it removed. Dorothy would prove that an animal could live fine post Neuralink. Gertrude was the star of the show and her Neuralink implant with 1024 electrodes transmitted her brain activity in real time to a screen that the audience could see. They also heard beeps that Musk explained came when Gertrude's piggly brain receives environmental stimulation, corresponding to her sniffing through her snout. The second major demo of Neuralink involved monkeys, which were more in line with the preferred test animals for scientists. More than 70,000 of them are used for research in the US alone. This demo was even more exciting as it showed a monkey named Pager playing a game with his mind. Getting a monkey to play a game is a big deal. But Musk's team got Pager to play the game with his mind. Musk tweeted, A monkey is literally playing a video game telepathically using a brain chip. Neuralink released a 3-minute video showing Pager, a 9-year-old mechic monkey with two Neuralink devices implanted in his brain in the motor cortex, coordinating hand into movement. Pager first learned how to use a joystick to move a cursor to targets on a screen. The link device recorded the neuron activity while interacting with the computer and then fed the data into a decoding algorithm to predict Pager's hand movements in real time. Eventually, the monkey could move the cursor to where he wanted without touching the joystick. Musk has said that trials and monkeys have shown Neuralink works well, and the company has confirmed it is safe and reliable. The device can be removed safely now that the testing on animals is complete. Musk is moving on to the next stage, testing Neuralink on humans. This part is admittedly more complicated, especially if the goal is to repair neurological functions because it involves bridging signals between existing neutrons, as Musk explained. He thinks Neuralink will advance more quickly with people because they can express their emotions verbally, whereas animals cannot. The absorbed thing is that the Neuralink is already receiving much support from people who want to assist their loved ones facing health issues. They want to heal her spouse who has memory loss and delusions. So they asked Musk on Twitter when Neuralink implants will begin. According to Jeremy, the brain's dead region needs to be replaced. According to Musk, Neuralink has a bright future. In 25 years, Musk anticipates that technology will have advanced to a complete brain link, enabling the coexistence of humans and artificial intelligence. He observes actual cyborgs reviving. He is currently prepared to begin placing Neuralink in human brains. He wants to start with tetraplegia or quadriplegic patients with serious spinal cord damage. He reiterates that technology can restore the walking ability of someone unable to walk or use their arms. A threshold for receiving Food and Drug Administration permission to conduct human brain chip implant experiments is very high. It is not a concern for Musk and his group, though. Musk has stricter requirements for the device's placement in the human brain than the FDA just as his safety requirements are significantly greater than the U.S. government. That is our video for today. We hope you like it. Share all of your thoughts with us in the comment section below. Well, that's all for now. This is Big Tech Media. See you again tomorrow. Keep in mind to like, share, and subscribe.